we're swapping out emergency shutoff switches at some gas stations. There's a lot more to it than you would think. Ooh. Let me ask you this. How do we de-energize the switch, pull it out, and change it out without turning off all the pumps in the gas station and making a lot of people really frustrated? Now we're gonna have to test it. I don't know how I'm gonna do that with all the people here. What do you think? Should I just do it? You've always wanted to do this. How's your chance? This is gonna be a long visit. Management will not allow me to do even just a quick field shutdown. Oh my god. Am I being cranked? What the hell, man? Oh, what if I told you there is a way to do it without any of the pumps losing power? Yep, push try right on that. I can feel the humming. And now I'm gonna turn this off. You ready for this? Yep. Here we go. Okay, so we're gonna have to locate the control panel inside, but here's the emergency stop switch for this location. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna try not to create chaos here. This is my first time doing one of these. Hmm. Doesn't get more simple than that. Okay, what I would expect here would be a normally closed contact and when it's open, it produces an alarm. But it looks to me like this side has 120 and this side doesn't. So it would be a normally open contact that shuts down the pumps. So I'm still familiarizing myself with this, but I did find a little 120 breaker in the panel that said emergency stop. And I held my breath, turned it off, hoping that it wouldn't turn the pumps off. But like I said, because it's a normally open switch, I just don't know where that 120 gets sent to. I've opened up a couple of things, but we seem to be good so far. People are still pumping their gas and they're not pissed off. So I'm gonna check and make sure there's no voltage in that switch and then we'll put on the new switch. Okay, so we have all our powers dead. Ooh, uh, well, I won't need that anymore. Here's our new switch, rubber gasket. There it is right there. So here is my little relay on here, common, normally open. These little wires are actually for the switch illumination, which in this case we don't have that extra circuit in there, so I'm not going to do that. Ooh, got the homeless asking for stuff over here. Oh, it's the other way. Okay, we've got this little insert here. Alright, I got the switch installed. For this place, it was just one switch. Now we're going to have to test it. So, I don't know how I'm going to do that with all the people here. I might. I don't know if I'm going to just have to shut off all the lanes or just do it just do it <laughs> what do you think should i just do it um or should i cone off the lanes first okay i have three cones and the ladies inside have one cone and a bunch of wet floor signs so okay we're all shut down except for one last customer here One of these here. Okay, yeah, that should do it. Alright, you've always wanted to do this. How's your chance? Oh. I expected it to make a noise. Yeah, okay, sure enough, it seems that it has turned off the pumps here. If I try to reset it trips instantly. To reset it, all you do is just twist it like that. Twist, okay. Yep. So now I'll just reset the breaker. All right, on to the next gas station. Got a load of this one. 
This is going to be a long visit. Normally close. It looks like this one's powered through this panel. The guy says whenever the e-stop button is pressed, these shut down and you have to press this to reset it. Now a wiring diagram for this would be great. Without a wiring diagram, <clears throat> this is pretty tough, but I think the emergency comes in here and then the emergency switches, there's two of them, are wired in series. I believe it comes into E1 somewhere and then it comes out and then goes back in, loops around and then goes back up to the other switch and comes down. Now there's a lot of big assumptions in there, but also switch, this is the main common or something, seems to be holding this relay on. And so what I'm thinking is I might do a quick shutdown and then test my theory and then turn it back on. And maybe what I'm thinking here is this almost looks like it's purposely here to where you could put a wire here and a wire here to bypass them. But I could be totally wrong. The office tried to look up a wiring diagram for me. They contacted the manufacturer. Can't find a wiring diagram, which is a pain in the ass. So the question is, how do you do this in a safe, efficient way? I think a momentary shutdown and then figure this out and then turn it back on to them. Or I can do that in one go and then move on to the next switch. So that involves a couple shutdowns. That's also a possibility. Okay, we're going to have to circle back around on this one. We can't find any documentation about that. Management will not allow me to do even just a quick fuel shutdown, especially because this is one of the busiest gas stations in the area. If you have done gas station e-stops before and there's something that I'm missing or some advice you'd like to offer me, let me know in the comments. And if you want to find out what happens to this station, then now would be a good time to subscribe. And if you like this content so far, like and comment and share the video. If you're just now watching me for the first time, you may not know that I use a GoPro to record. It's not always easy to record and get footage of things without revealing people or places. I try to keep my filming kind of subtle. And so in public places, I don't always get the best footage so hope it's still watchable and let's find out what happens on the next one we'll definitely be back here so let's move on to another one of these stations i have five other ones to hit probably looks like we'll get to one more today and let's see what happens oh my god am i being pranked did the office put me up to this are they pranking me right now is this for real what the hell man What's with the kitty litter? Ugh. So apparently they want this button moved outside. Here. Oh. Oh god. Look at that. Holy shit. No touch. So I have no clue how I'm gonna move this outside, but I might as well open it up, see if it's normally open or normally closed. This gas station's a little bit more old school, so maybe it's a shunt trip breaker situation the first one was. If that's the case, I could change them out without too much disruption. But nonetheless, we need basically a conduit coming from here, I guess through the wall, which isn't impossible, but there's not a lot of room out there. There's a plywood area right here, which would be way easier to go through, but there's a bunch of equipment on the wall outside, which you might have seen, where I guess maybe I could mock it up and see if I can figure something out. But this is the epitome of disgusting. I don't know how this gas station still functions or how it's still able to run, but that's why we want to aim up. We want to make things better, not worse. So we got a normally closed switch, at least that's what it says on the side of it. Apparently it's, everything's normally closed on here. It's the only option. I'll confirm with my meter and then I have this black with white tape and blue. I have a gutter down here. Oh my gosh. The nice thing about this gutter is that at least I can trace the wires down to exactly where they go. Okay, so it looks to me like this contactor might be powering this panel, which contains all the pumps, diesel, ethanol free, regular, and super, and a couple other things. And 
my guess is that this auxiliary contact is permanently on unless it gets interrupted. So if that's the case, I think we can figure out how to how to get this done. But this definitely cannot be done today because it needs to be moved. So imagine what kind of horrors we can see in here. You ready for this? Do you think you're prepared? Oh my god, I'm in a nest of just kitty litter. Well, I have seen worse. The half inch, this goes to an outlet. This right here is our winner. Although, see we have a black and blue. So now I just gotta trace these down. Give me a sec. If you are an electrical journeyman and do not have one of these yet, get one. Okay, I have it figured out. Let me give you a quick rundown. We have a circuit. I twisted it right here. A circuit that comes from somewhere in here, one of those goes through here, up through this e-switch, and circles back on, I think, red or something, and then comes through red all the way to here into this conduit, which I can safely assume goes to the emergency stop in the building over there, and then comes back on the blue, you know, either goes in on the red or comes back on the blue or whatever, and then comes back through, and then... It comes from the breaker. Uh, either way, basically both e-switches, <laughs> it's the end of the day, both e-switches are in series with one of the lines, with basically the end of the line coming up. Um, uh, I mean, you can probably barely see this crap anyways, but it comes up into here basically, which is as I suspected the contactor. Now, I don't know what it is about this place, but I'm feeling a little bit more casual in this situation. Just can't figure out what's doing it. I kind of just want to find out what circuit it is, shut it off, take these two wire nuts, take this E-switch off, connect these together, turn it back on, and then go swap out that E-switch over there at the other side, and then turn it off, put it back together, and then we can plan to do that switch in the future. That sounds like a good plan. At least I can get something done today. 2130. Okay, so as you can see, that's not gonna quite do it either. I need some single gang handy boxes. So I'll add that to my list, take some notes. A lot of these are site visits because there was no real site visit done for all these places. Um, we're probably going to have to build a customer more than the proposal because each place requires all this troubleshooting. No matter though, I'll button this all up and we'll probably call it a day at that point. If we don't get these switches installed in a timely manner, we are going to lose this job. Back at the horrifying gas station, there's a total cluster going on out there, but you don't need to worry about that. We need to take this and move it to the outside. It's right here, B stop. This literally does not get simpler than that. I really hope I don't regret doing this. What if I told you there was a way to do it without any of the pumps losing power? Yep, push right on that. I can feel the humming. And now I'm gonna turn this off. You ready for this? Yep. Here we go. Something's not right. Let me go check on that for a second.